Today we're going to go over the operation of the IST Echo Pure SR30 with vacuum kit. This is a solvent recycler. Um, we'll talk about some of the features and benefits of this as compared to traditional solvent recyclers. Probably the first thing is the construction and, and the operation. This doesn't use a hot plate like the old style uh, solvent recyclers. Instead, this can canister is double walled and in between the two walls is what we call thermic oil. It heats up the thermic oil and therefore heats the entire canister evenly rather than just from the bottom. You need to change this thermic oil only every 2,000 hours. When you go to do that, it's very easy. There's a drain plug here, here and a fill plug here. unit needs to be located somewhere where there's some ventilation and it's a class 1 div 1 area within a 10 foot radius of the unit. Um, the operation is rather simple. You're going to open the lid, you place in a solvent distillation bag, and then there's a retaining ring. And then there is a you can see that, but there's a clip right here that spreads the ring open. It keeps constant pressure on it. You want to make sure that the bag does not block the travel of the vapor up this pipe. This is where it, where it goes. Uh, we can now fill it automatically with a pump here using this valve, which in this instance we don't have, or manually simply by putting a five gallon pail of dirty solvent and pouring it in, which we're gonna do now. So as you can see, we're starting with something pretty ugly and yellow. You want to fill it to a level about one inch below the retaining ring. You don't want to try to run a batch that's only half full or three quarters. You want to do a full batch each and every time. You want to also inspect that this surface is clean and that this gasket is in good condition. It's very important that you have a good seal when you close the lid. This is a single lever locking mechanism. It's now locked. Of course, make sure that valve is closed. Uh, you want to make sure that everything is grounded, including the container that you're going to go into, the vacuum tank, and of course, this is already grounded electrically from our uh, wiring. We have compressed air coming in. You want to make sure that it's set to at least 4 bar or about 60 psi, and that's what's actuating the vacuum on this uh, tank, and therefore pulling a vacuum on our canister. When you first get the system, it's going to come in the Celsius mode. We need to convert it to the Fahrenheit mode and set our parameters. So we're replicating uh, just how you would get this out of the box. To go between Celsius and Fahrenheit, press and hold the plus sign for seven seconds. Now press the minus key to toggle between Celsius or Fahrenheit. Press the enter button. Perfect. All right now to go to our, our recipe, we simply select what temperature, which in this instance we've sent the MSDS sheets for the solvent used to the manufacturer, and they're recommending 340 degrees. Press enter, and they recommend four hours. 
on this particular solvent. Each kind of solvent will have a different recommendation for time and temperature. Enter. It's showing you now that there's 14 hours total on this machine that it's been used. All right, so it's now telling me um, what the current temperature is, and no lights are on other than the temperature, which is showing me what it currently is. To start the cycle, all I do is press the red button. You'll hear the air click on. It'll start to pull the vacuum, and then it will cycle through each light here, and whatever this light is on, it will display here. So that's my set point. That's my time. It's showing that my heat element is on. And that's the time of the cycle elapsed. You can now also see the stage on the vacuum beginning to rise over here. If you had a bad seal on the lid or a valve open, you would not be able to obtain a vacuum. So you should see this eventually come over all the way to probably 25, 26 pounds. And what comes out of this tank is brand new clear, clean solvent. This is from the batch we just ran out of this barrel right here. Uh, started out looking just like what we poured in there. So very simple, easy to use device. Essentially, after everything has been set up, uh, you're not going to change the parameters again after the factory setup. So you're just going to change the bag, press the button, wait for four hours, and go. What comes out will look something like this. This is the still bottom. It'll always get this dry. This is a few hours old. It'll come out usually a little bit more like a brownie batter in consistency. Uh, as long as there's no solvent left, you can typically just dispose of this as solid waste. You do need to check with your local authorities on any time you dispose of paint waste. Uh, thank you for your time and enjoy many years of service with your solvent recycling. Thank you, Ty.